Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to this practice today. So today's practice is going to be a little different uh, from my usual practices that I put uh, which are very slow paced. Today's practice is flowy. We are going to have many round of vinyasas in between. And again, this practice is for someone who is, who is either an intermediate or has been practicing yoga for quite some time. If you're a beginner and if you're still practicing with me, you can do that. However, you may find the lack of cues for the beginners. So if you are already familiar with those cues and you know your adjustments, you know your alignment, feel free to join me in this practice. Make sure all of you are listening to your body and accepting where we are. That is very important. And also the one of the most important thing is to enjoy your practice, have fun on the mat. So let us meet on the mat and explore this practice together. Getting into breath awareness. Align your neck with your spine and your hips. Place your palms over your knees, gently close your eyes. Allow your shoulders and jaw to relax. Sweep your awareness all throughout your body to connect with your body. From the crown of your head to your toes. From your toes back to the crown of your head. Noticing all the feelings and sensations at this moment. And now you can take your awareness to your breath, watching the natural rhythm of your breath. Noticing how is a breath is just happening and it is and happening. We are not doing anything to breathe in, breathe out. We are simply noticing and it is happening on its own. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, ground yourself on your mat, allowing your body weight to surrender on your mat. Let us join our palms together to the heart center. We'll be chanting one Om Thi Shantis to begin a session. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Shanti hi, Shanti hi, Shanti hi. And as you exhale, you can open your eyes. Let us begin with warm up. So you can place your palms over your thighs. Inhale to lift your chin up, stretching the front side of your neck. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders, taking your chin to your chest, extending the back side of your neck. Inhale up. And exhale, chin to your chest. Coming back to the center, rotating your neck to clockwise three times. Inhale up. And as you exhale, taking your neck down from your left. Inhale up. Exhale back, inhale up, exhale down, changing the side, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale to raise your arms to lengthen your spine, waiting here for five breaths, one, 
two, close your eyes or maybe find a gaze point for you. Three, four, five. As you exhale, twist to your right. Looking over your right shoulder, one, two, three, four, five. Coming back to the center, inhale to raise your arms. Lift your spine and as you exhale, twist to your left. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming back to the center, place your palms forward and walk your palms forward to sink your chest down. Sending those hips back. Pressing the floor away with your palms. Feeling the lengthening in your spine. Walk your palms to your right. Stretching the left side of your body. And then again, walk your palms to your left. From here, bring yourself up to come on your force into the tabletop position. Align your shoulders with your wrist, align your hips with your knees. As you inhale, press your chest down, lift your chin up, arc your spine. And as you exhale, bringing your chin to your chest. Inhale up, exhale back, inhale up. Exhale, pointing the tailbone down, inhale up, exhale back, inhale up, exhale back, inhale up, exhale back. One more time, inhale up, exhale back. Coming back to the center, we will start rotating our hips so you can take your hips back taking them to your right and then to your forward. So taking your chest a bit more beyond your palms to your left and then back to your heels. Four times this side and then we'll change the side. Once you're done, change the side. Some of you may want some cushioning under your knees and feel free to do that or use a thick mat. You can use a towel also under your knees. And coming back to the center, stretch your right arm out, right leg out and the left arm out. To the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the center, stretch your opposite leg and the arm out. One, Two, softly engaging your core. Three, four, and five. Five, back to the center. Lying down on your belly from here. Stretch your arms in a T-shape. Bend your right knee to drop your leg over. And opening your left shoulder here. If you want, you can place your right palm behind your back, opening your right shoulder as well. Exhale to bring yourself back in the center. Let us change the side. Bend your left knee, drop it over, opening your right shoulder. And see where you want to keep your left palm. Next to your chest, behind your back, catch hold of your other palm. Coming back to the center on your forearms into the sphinx pose. Inhale to lift your chest, the back of your foot resting on the floor. Chin parallel to the mat, relax your shoulders. Shoulders are aligned with your elbows. Press your palms down on the mat, lift your elbows up to lift your chest a bit higher up, keeping your shoulders relaxed.
feeling that opening in the chest and the sensation in your lower back. And as you exhale, bringing your chest back down on the mat, place your palms right next to your chest, tuck your toes, lift yourself up, come on your fours and moving to downward talk. Let us walk our heels in and out to loosen up our hamstrings. So right knee in, stretch the left hamstring, left knee in, stretch the right one and you can alternate. Keep sending the floor away with your palms as you do this. And bend your knees to step or jump forward or walk forward between your palms. Inhale to look up, half lift. And as you exhale, fold forward. And as you inhale, raise your arms up again. Join your palms together. Push your pelvic forward. Take your arms back, upper arms parallel to your ears. One, two, three, four and five exhale to fold again taking your head down if you want cross your arms allow your the gravity to work on the crown of your head relax your shoulders release to roll yourself back up into uttarasana tuck your tailbone in feet strongly grounded hands on the side Chin parallel to the mat, let us begin our Surya Namaskara. Inhale to raise your arms, to join your palms together. Exhale to fold. Inhale, head up. Exhale to step, jump back to your plank, lower down to Chaturanga, or knees, chest to chin. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, tuck your toes, coming into downward dog. And let us hold here for about five breaths. Bend your knees to step forward, inhale, half lift, exhale, to fold, inhale, arms all the way up, join your palms and exhale, release. Let us repeat, inhale, arms up, exhale, to fold forward, inhale, half lift, exhale, to step back to your plank, lower down your knees, chest or chin, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog and exhale, tuck your toes, moving into downward dog. Five breath here. Bend your knees to step forward or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head into fold. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, to fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale to your plank, lower down, choose your variation. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog again. Sending the floor away with your palms. Take your hips back, pulling your navel in slightly. Bend your knees to step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head in, fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. And exhale, release. Opening your foot two, three feet distance for Uttita Trikonasana. Turn your right foot out. Stretch your arms. Inhale to lift your right arm and exhale, extend to fold away your right leg, looking at your left palm or maybe placing your left palm over your hips. Choosing your variation. Bend your right knee to come up. 
turn your right foot in and left foot out stretch the left side and as you exhale extend to your left and going down over the left inhale to come all the way back up turn your left foot in and rotating to the shorter edge of the mat stretch the left side of your body and as you exhale twist to your right placing your left palm outside your right foot for parivrata trikonasana keep extending your spine towards the side inhale to come all the way back up turn your foot to the center and then to the other shorter edge of your mat stretch your right arm exhale to fold and twist and as you exhale again place both of your palms on the mat to come into plank step your feet back lower down to chaturanga inhale lift your chest exhale tuck your toes coming into downward dog and bring your right leg forward rotate your left heel bend your right knee to place it over your right foot stretch your arms in a t shape for virabhadrasana keep sending your left pelvis back as you inhale drop your left palm over your left chin right arm up keeping your hips engaged and as you exhale again right forearm on your right thigh left arm parallel to your ear look up to the ceiling inhale to come back all the way up turn your right foot in to left foot out bend your left knee as you exhale drop for reverse warrior keeping your tailbone tucked in little engagement in your hips breathe and as you exhale moving to side angle an exhalation place both of your palms on the mat stepping back to your plank lower down to chaturanga inhale lift your chest exhale tuck your toes moving to downward dog and bring your right leg forward maybe dropping your left knee or keeping it lifted depending on what suits you the most looking up one two three four and five as you inhale sweep your arms up join your palms or maybe bringing them to the heart center one two three four and five twist to your right left elbow outside your right knee looking over your right shoulder one Two, three, four, and five. Place both of your palms inside your right foot, so you can take your right foot out, and dropping your right knee towards your right, so you can come on the side of your foot, 
and maybe dropping the left knee as well and see if you can come on your forearms that's also another option or stay here one so this is how it will look from the front two three four and five bringing your right shin on the mat for the pigeon pose sliding your left leg back moving your body weight in the center so you're not shifting on the right side keeping yourself in the center relax your shoulders Press your palms down on the mat, tuck your left toe, moving back to your plank, lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, back to your downward dog and bring your left leg forward from here, stay in high lunge or drop your knee. One, two, three, four, Five, sweep your arms. One, two, keep pressing the floor away with your feet. Three, four, and five. Palms to the heart center, twist to your left. One, two, three, four, five, exhale to place your palms inside your left foot, again dropping your left uh, knee towards your left or maybe dropping your right knee on the floor and stay here, feel the opening in your groin, one, two, three, four and five taking your left shin inside your arms stretch slide your right leg back stay in pigeon one two three Five, tuck your toe, lift yourself back up to come to the plank position. Lower down to Chaturanga, inhale up, exhale, tuck your toes again, back to your downward dog and opening your left leg to the front, coming into four feet distance apart for Prasarita Padottanasana. Feet parallel to each other, hands on your hips, inhale to lift your chest and as you exhale, start folding forward. Leading through your chest, place your palms on the mat, stay in half lift or go all the way down. Inhale, look back up, hands on your hips, come all the way up. Stepping, sorry, stretch your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, lift your chest and as you exhale, Fold again. Allow your arms to fall down. Let the gravity work on your arms. Feeling the opening in your chest. Use your chest as if your chest is trying to reach out to the floor. Again, bend your knee. To come all the way up, uh, moving to Prasarita Padottanasana D, so hands on your hips, inhale to lift your chest, exhale to fold, release your arms to your shin, ankle or hook your toes. 
Stay in half lift or as you exhale, go all the way down. <clears throat> Inhale to look back up. Place your palms on the mat and then walk your palms to the side. Coming into the plank position. Staying in plank for about five breaths. Look forward. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Bend your right knee, bringing it under your chest, maybe to your nose by taking your chin to your chest. One. Two. Lift your shoulders, lift your spine. Three four and five back to your plank change the leg one two three four and five coming back to plank lower down inhale up exhale tuck your toes moving back to your downward dog and from here, you can cross your legs to sit down on your mat into Tandasana. Hands on the side. Open your chest, chin parallel to the floor. Catching hold of your breath, connecting back with your body. Moving to Paschimottanasana. So as you inhale, raise your arms. And as you exhale, fold forward. Maybe hook your toes. Inhale, lift your, lift your chest. Look up or bend your elbows to fold further. Inhale to look back up, arms up, palms behind your hips, choose your variation, fingers pointing to your hips. You can either bend your knees to lift your hips up to drop your head back or stretch your legs out, point your toes, lift your hips up, drop your head back. One, two, three, four, five, Cross your legs to the round of vinyasa, or you can just simply stay in child pose or relax. Plank, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, tuck your toes. Getting to downward dog, and again, cross the legs to extend your legs out. Moving to Janushi Shasana. Bend your right knee, drop it over. Inhale, raise your arms. And as you exhale, fold forward. So you can place your palms over your shin, ankle, hook your toes, or maybe catch hold of your wrist, whatever is possible for you. Inhale, look back up, cross your legs, hands on the side, lift up, drop back, Stretch out and then change the side of Janushi Shasana. Left knee bent. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. To fold. Inhale. Look back up. Arms all the way up. Hands on the side. Again, cross your legs. Exhale, lift up, stretch your legs out, moving to the twist pose. So stepping your right foot outside your right left knee, bend your left knee also if possible. Stretch your arms up, twist to your right, place your right palm behind your right hip. Left elbow bent and place it outside your right knee. If some of you are comfortable, you can wrap your arm around and catch hold of your palm behind your back, opening your right shoulder. So take the bind if possible. One, two, 
three, four, and five. As you exhale, release, change the side, cross your legs over. Inhale, exhale to twist on your left. One, two, three, four, and five. As you exhale, release, moving to the round of vinyasa again. So cross your legs, place your palms on the top of your mat, step back to your plank, lower down. Inhale. And exhale, tuck your toes, downward dog. Cross your legs to sit down over your mat, opening your feet along in the opposite direction, opening your legs. Place your hands behind your hips or maybe on your shin, ankle or hook your toes. Inhale, take the lifting to your chest. And as you exhale, fold. So accepting where your body is right now, feeling that forward rolling in your thighs and in your hips. Inhale, look back up, place your palms again behind your hips and then bring your feet closer to your sit bones and then cross your legs, sorry, interlace your fingers, hug your toes, lift your chest. Pressing your knees back down, let the gravity work on your knees, your upper arms right next to your chest. Exhale to release, open your right leg to your right. Catch hold of your left thigh with your right arm. As you inhale, lengthen up. You can stay here or if you can, fold on the side. Fold on the side, taking your left shoulder back as much as you can travel. Feeling a nice stretch on the left side of your body. One, two, three, four, five, and inhale, come back up. Let us change the side. Inhale, stretch, stretch, and as you exhale, bend over to your left. One, this side is more flexible for me. Two, three, four, Five, and as you inhale, lift yourself back up, coming back to the center, moving to the round of vinyasa, you can cross your legs, coming to your plank, lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, exhale, tuck your toes, moving to downward dog, bringing your knees back in the center. Uh, coming into the kneeling down position, opening your right leg on your right, your toes facing the longer edge of your mat. Inhale, lengthen up, and as you exhale, bending over to your right. Keeping your hips engaged, tailbone tucked in. Come back in the center, release, right knee on the back, on the floor, opening your left leg, raise up, lift up, lift up, and as you exhale, bending over to your left. So you can see your shoulders, chest, your hips are in one line.
Coming back to the center, bringing your left knee back on the floor. Place your palms in front of you. Tuck your, bring your big toes together, separate your knees, and if possible, you can separate your shin out for the frog pose. Maybe forearms on the mat and hold. This has become, I think, my favorite pose nowadays. I just, I'm including it all, all in all my sequences. But uh, yeah, very great pose for your deep groin stretch and the groin opening, hips. Relaxing your shoulders as you're holding here. And from here, we are going to place our palms on the mat to lift the self back up, bring your big toes together, and then slowly bringing your knees together. So coming out of your frog pose is very important that you come out properly. Moving to the round of vinyasa. Coming to plank, lower down to chaturanga, inhale upward dog, and exhale, tuck your toes, moving to downward dog, and lie down from on your belly from here. Rest your chin on the mat, hands on the side. Inhale to lift your chest, interlace your fingers and lift your feet off the floor for the locust pose. One, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, bring yourself back down. Place your palms right next to your chest. And as you exhale, lift yourself back up for the cobra. Keeping your chin parallel to the mat, relax your shoulders. Feel the opening in your chest. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, bring yourself back down again. Bring your feet together. Rest your chin on the mat. Interlace your fingers, inhale, lift up, lift your feet off for one, two, three, four, and five. Exhale, bring yourself back down. Place your palms right next to your chest, lift yourself up to come into downward dog. Relax your back muscles. And let us move to lie down on our back. Hands on the side. Moving to the bridge pose. As you exhale, lift your hips off the floor, feet hip distance apart. Maybe bringing your shoulder blades together, interlace your fingers, shifting all your weight to your shoulders, pressing the floor away with your feet. Feel the engagement in your hips. Keep lifting until you start feeling the sensation in your hips. Then you know that you have reached to your maximum capacity. And then just stay there for some time. And with an exhalation, bringing yourself back down. Place your right ankle over your left thigh. Lift your left foot off the floor, hug your under thigh or maybe hug your shin with interlaced fingers. Pressing that knee towards your chest, opening the right hip so you can feel the sensation in your right hip. This is great also for your lower back. Breathe in, as you breathe out, release, change the side.
and breathe in as you breathe out we'll move to the shoulder stand or viprit karnyasana so either you can take your feet to 90 degree your legs to 90 degree or bounce your hips up to walk your palms down your upper body again bringing your shoulder blades one by one together if possible otherwise just stay where you are making sure you're supporting your neck allow your weight to surrender on your shoulders and stay here for 10 breaths one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then bringing your legs down either to your forehead you can take your knees to your forehead or straight legs down towards the mat or the floor behind you once your toes touch you can remove your arms interlace your fingers and hold one two three four five roll yourself back for the fish pose palms under your hips stretch your legs out big toes together as you exhale lift your chest up looking at your big toes slide your legs forward and then you can draw up your head back if possible and if, if it reaches to the floor then great Again, as you exhale, lift yourself back up, looking at your big toes and bringing your shoulders back down on the mat. Stretch your arms in a T-shape, bend your right knee, drop it over your left, keeping your left shoulder on the mat. You can keep a cushion under your knee if it doesn't reach to the floor. And just simply relax. Breathe in as you breathe out. Let us change the side. Bend your right knee, drop it over. Breathe in as you breathe out, coming back to the center. So you can roll yourself back up, cross your legs, moving to plank, lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward dog. And cross your legs to lie down on your back into Shavasana or whichever position feels most comfortable for you today. Hands away from your body, palms facing up. Your legs are touching the long edge of your mat. Tuck your chin slightly in if you're in Shavasana. If you want, place a cushion, block, something under your knee. If you want your lower back to be touching the ground. Just find a nice, comfortable position for yourself wherein you can be still for some time. <clears throat> Take your awareness to your toes, to relax your toes, relax your feet, your ankles, relax your shin, your calf, 
the front and the back of your knees, the front and the back of your thighs. Allowing your legs to get heavy on the ground. Feel the area around your hips, your groin, your pelvis. Whatever little sensation that you can feel and relax all of those parts of your body. Feel your lower back, your abdomen and relax your lower back and abdomen. Move up to the sides of your rib cage. Relax, relax your chest. Relax your upper back, your shoulders. Move this relaxation throughout your arms, your palms, fingers, fingertips. And travel yourself back up to your neck and face, relaxing your neck, your face. the crown of your head you can feel your entire body sinking down on the mat in this relaxation you are connected with your breath and relaxing into your being Feel free to continue in this relaxation. Bring your awareness back if you would like to come out. Feel your body, feel the space around you, feel the touch of your body with the ground. Move your fingers, your toes gently. Move your head from one side to the other. Feet together, stretch your arms, stretch your whole body and release. Bend your knees, roll over to your right. Pick up below with your right hand and to come up, press your left palm down. Lift yourself back up. Moving back to seating asana. Keeping your eyes closed, absorb your practice. Having faith in our practice, believing that we are receiving all the benefits of our practice. And also feeling gratitude for ourselves for showing up onto the mat and taking this time out for ourselves.
if you have enjoyed this practice you can hit the like button you can also subscribe to my channel we will seal this practice with one ohm so you can join your palms together to the heart center take a deep breath in oh. and as you exhale you can open your eyes thank you for joining me in I wish you a mindful day ahead and I really hope to see you soon again in some other practice. Until then, bye-bye.